This is a Fetters uh, A7Q08F2A-A 8000 BTU, the air conditioner. And we have a failed control board in the sense that the buttons are not responsive, or the power button at least is not responsive. So we're going to use a multimeter to check the functionality of another button to see which contacts it shorts out and then we're going to see if we can just manually short this out to get it to turn on. Alright, so what, what are you going to say? North to south or east to west gets jumped out? I'm going Who's to guess... The door? <laughs> I think it's going to look like it goes top to bottom. So north to south? There's, there's nothing joining the the right side there. Yeah. I'm going to be contrarian and just say east to west because one of us is going to be right. Be. Yeah, it could be. Is this in the which was the timer button because we know that one works. So just um, down. that's the third one from. It should be this one here. Okay. Yeah. Is this on beep mode? Your guess is better than mine. You're looking at it. How do you? Oh, here we go. Okay. So it's east and west, or is it north and south? Well, I'm not pressing it right now, so we're getting continuity like that. I'm so w I think the way that these switches work is they have normally open and normally closed, and they're opposites of each other. All right, you was correct. At least in this button, it's going to the side. But I suppose we don't necessarily know that the button is the same orientation, though. Although we could, we can tell because one of these is all the time. Oh, so when you, so, all right, so try that again. Try pushing the button in and see if it, if the beeping stops. Okay. Seems to have no effect, and then on the side where there's not connectivity. All right, so we short the, button, the. So we have to find which side has connectivity and then short the other side. Okay. And then that should fire the thing up. Okay, so vertical. Has continuity on the right side and continuity on the left side. <coughs> so I think it's going to be the Harz tan that we need to short out. Yep. I mean, just for the sake of it, we can see if we can make the button work. Okay. Um, I should have some wood of 40 in here. Wood of 40? Oh, and for the viewers, this is um, an acquisition from Savers for twenty-five dollars. What a mug doesn't work anymore. Oh. Busted. So there's a surprise. And then most things it doesn't work. That's the only can you have too, isn't it? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Let's check in this cabinet here. Yeah. Well, let me get out of the way rather than more into the way. Hi Dennis. Who are you talking to? Oh, I thought you were still filming. Yeah, but who? My friend who watches. Oh, you, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking to the vacuum cleaner. I was <laughs> getting a little concerned. Even if that was the case, that still wouldn't surprise Dennis. All right, we have... Uh, oh, I see it. Ah, here we go. And it's got the straw that goes... Um, this looks a little newer. Of course, that should mean that it works better, but as we all know, that's often not the case. <laughs> it's frozen. No, I'm laughing about the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, could, we could call that... We could rename it. We can call that Dennis the Vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to stick now. Oh, where's Dennis? I got to clean up the carpet. 
Should we put a piece of tape on it and write its name just to make sure that we don't forget? <laughs> Actually, I gotta fix the handle. Speaking of tape, <laughs> all right. Let's see if this is uh, this is working. Or not yet. <laughs> I test it somewhere else. <laughs> it's still early for me. I don't need to do anything before like 11 or 12 o'clock. Now this section of the table is very flammable. <sighs> Was that on the video? Good. Imagine you go through all that and you didn't even get it. You probably won't, but it's worth a shot. Based on the part number of that eight pin chip that's next to that switch, I'm gonna guess that that's the E squared problem where the uh, program that runs this uh, microcontroller is stored. It sounds a lot better. It, it does. I thought that was my imagination, but I'm glad that you said that. It's got some feedback again. Okay. So it might have just been very dirty. Nice. All right. All right. We're back in business. Um, I'm going to put some isoprisol alcohol in there, and then we'll blow it off with compressed air, and then we'll plug it back in. Okay. And the other thing that we have to make sure that we uh, remember to do is disconnect the neutral for the fan, because the fan is seized up on this. Yeah. Well, if it powers on, then we can uh, go further. Okay. <laughs> Which fan motor? The one that's locked up solid. Oh. Not that that's ever been a problem for you in the past on other applications, but... Well, we can replace if it really came down to it. They are available on eBay for a somewhat reasonable sum. Some 41? Yes, some 41. Okay, we should be good to see if it's going to operate now. Nice. Okay. Yeah, it's trying to run the fan, but it can't, so. As I didn't hear nothing clicking. It appears like the control board is ready to work. Oh, there it goes. I think it's good. Okay. Okay, so now we'll have to go further, take the fan motor. Uh, uh, too bad we don't know from here. Can we just tell from here uh, So where the fan is? Yeah, so just take this last screw out, and out. then this whole panel will come off, and we'll just disconnect the low um, wire from the fan. No, not that, the one above it. Yeah. And that one's shorter than the rest. obvious reasons. Yeah, so it rusts out faster. Yeah, it has nothing to do with, you know, poking the coil or anything. So the good news is I think that the, uh, the wires are marked on the other circuit board. And if I'm not mistaken, because fetters always use the same colors, I think the black wire... This is kind of interesting. I've never yeah. seen something like that. It's probably because it's got digitan controls. This right. don't give you much room to work with at all. I can't see nothing in here. All right, so I'll tell you what we could do to make it a little bit easier. Do you have needle nose pliers? Yeah. Because what we can do is we can push this board off this platform. Or I could just use my fingernails because that seems to be working pretty good too. There we go. Okay. 
Yeah, this is much easier to work on when it's unplugged. Okay, this is much easier to work on when. Um, okay, so I, I disconnected the low wire from the fan. Okay. So the fan's not going to run unless we try to put it on medium or high. Right. Uh, but we can try to run the compressor, and I think in order to do that, yes. what we're going to just want to put the thermal sensor in a bucket of hot water or something. Yeah, that's funny. It probably got a stupid three-minute cooling. Um, it it does, but I think that's only for retry. So like if there's okay. a. So it should start up initially just fine. Yeah, I think I think the timer doesn't run uh, as soon as you plug it into the wall. Okay. Actually, you know what we could also use as opposed to going upstairs to get the water is we could just put... Start a fire? Well, that's one option, but we could also just put the sensor near this light. Okay. Because this gets pretty hot. Yeah, that's actually throwing off some heat. And it'll help us see anyways. Should have just used it in the first place. Okay. This has a Matsushita rotary compressor in there. Which obviously means it's junk, right? Right, because everything made in Japan is junk. Actually, it's made in Malaysia, but everything that's just as good. Everything Malaysia is junk. The Malaysians, what are they sending us? All this garbage. <laughs> A lot of um, test equipment for lab uses man manufactured in Malaysia, and it's all really good stuff. Yeah, Uniden made uh, a lot of telephones from the 90s in Malaysia, and those were excellent quality telephones. In my opinion, I'd say Malaysia is probably the next best thing to Japan. As it far could as be, manufacturing yeah. Outside of you know the U.S. What about China? Where would you rank China? It, well, so most of what comes out That's of China... a complicated China, question. Yeah, it, most of what comes out of China is junk, but there is some stuff manufactured in China that's very good. It really depends on who's outsourcing it and what they're giving China to work with. If they're trying to make it as cheap as humanly possible, it's not necessarily China's fault intrinsically. It, it's... Yeah, you're right. It's a complicated question, and I'm sure we'll get lots of heated debates in the comments section. Okay, so now we should have the operational control panel without the fee, and this should definitely be reading more than uh, whatever the temperature it needs. It's getting plenty hot down here. Now, the only sort of wild card in all this, and I guess we haven't specified this in the video yet, is that this unit's bent up pretty bad, and it might have taken a ride out a window, so if the refrigerant line got cracked, then it's not going to have gas in it. So we're about to find out, I guess. Uh-oh, did you just paint yourself into a corner? No. I think the evaporator on this is five rows thick, which is amazing. Five? Yeah, five. That's like unheard of. Yeah. I hear the pitch changing. I hear gas. That is a nice sounding compressor. <laughs> it's cold. That's very cold. It's got gas in there. Question is, does it have a full charge though? 
it did seem like it pushed out the gas pretty quick. I can't imagine that something something that got damaged like this either is going to have a full charge or no charge. I would put money on it having charge because if it if it really broke, then wouldn't it just get thrown out as opposed to kept and donated with the other one? Some people don't know how to get rid of stuff, so they just yeah, dump true. it in a donation bin. That's a good point. I don't know. I still it's icing up, which is but it's not just like one turn that's icing up. It's well, there's no fan on. Of course, it's gonna ice. No, up. I, I get that, but yeah. it's not just one piece that's yeah. icing up. I, my vote on it is has charge. So do we want to go deeper and try to get that I rescue think we that gotta, fan? We gotta try to make the fan run. You gotta compress your certain sound real loaded. Yeah, it's probably it's, sucking uh, liquid in. I think it's got gas. Yeah, that wouldn't be making sucking sounds for that long if it was low. Yeah, that's got some gas in here. That's almost a win. Well, it is, because if it came down, then we could always just replace the motor. Yeah. I probably have one that would fit in this unit. The only kind of problem being is that it's from a 5000, so its high speed would be equivalent to this thing's low speed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'd only have one speed. Yeah, I can still hear it. There's got to be enough gas in there. Well, it'll run again. This will probably make us sick, but it'll run again. <laughs> 